Hi everyone and welcome to the flute practice. Today is Sunday. My friends and I have a little bit of a kind of like a mantra, I guess you want to call it that. It's like Sunday fun day. It's our day that we have a little bit of fun and we do something that's relaxing and fun and enjoyable. Now, maybe this is a different day of the week for you. Maybe, you know, I don't know what your schedules look like or whatever, but I've decided to, you know, stay true to myself and have my Sunday fun day. And so every Sunday for the next few weeks, we are going to have kind of like a creative break day where we are going to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, a little bit fun, um, a little bit kind of exploratory or whatever it might be. You can choose whether or not you want to carry on doing the technical work from the previous two days or not, you know, or you can kind of see this as like an interruption of the, the whole cycle. Totally up to you. But today we are going to have fun with a little improvisation exercise that I know we did do um, briefly, very briefly in some of the other videos. But today we're going to kind of like dig a little bit more kind of intensely into this exercise and have some fun with it. So let's go check it out. So basically this exercise is playing on a G major scale and in between that, or any scale for that matter, I mean you don't have to do G major, you can choose any scale you like, but in between that we are going to kind of do little melodies, make up our own little melodies. So if you're new to this, you're really starting out, I'm going to recommend do something so, so simple. I'm going to show you now a little example of it. Just really maybe just moving one or two notes above each of the notes of the scale. So. So I really restricted myself there to not moving more than like a note away from each of those notes of the scale. So you can clearly hear the scale coming through there. So I want you to give this a try. Maybe just pause this video and give that a try. See how that feels. Then you can start maybe getting a little bit more adventurous. So... like that you know there are kind of like endless possibilities that you can do with this little little fun exercise um, and the, the ultimate goal I think really of it is to eventually free you up completely to not even be kind of stuck to the scale anymore so for now stick to the scale but eventually it's to really let you just go so if you're feeling like already you're kind of just wanting to go and want to let go of the scale then do allow yourself remember this is Sunday it's Sunday fun day it's creative break day it's time that we get to just kind of reconnect with our love of the instrument and our love of playing and our kind of fun, exploratory, adventurous side of ourselves. So once you've done that, you can also kind of like play around with maybe trying to move out of the G major. What I'm going to think about doing is, well, I'm going to do it and then I'm going to tell you what I did once I've done it. So. the sixth degree which is on the E I went to kind of like a minor thing instead of playing the F sharp I played an F natural to kind of like bring in that little minor vibe maybe try to play around with that I'm going to explore with adding in kind of like other notes so for example instead of going to the G when I'm on the A to rather think kind of like an A major or a minor and, and do the G sharp let's see or when I'm on the B maybe not going to a C natural but rather to a C sharp or whatever it might be Guys, this is, you know, where you just kind of got to let yourself go a little bit. I'm saying this to try and cover up because I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's try.
very adventurous. Um, you know, the cool thing is, there were some moments that I was like, wow, that's actually cool. Like that G sharp. I was like, yeah, that actually worked quite nicely. Other moments where I was like, oh, I don't quite know how to get out of this mess. But that's the whole point. This is really about exploring. This is really about encouraging you to take risks, to kind of step out of what feels comfortable. So if you're just comfortable with like, like, I, you know, I'm not even like used to improvising at all or playing anything that's kind of like not written a piece of paper, then maybe you just want to stick to the, the previous steps and keep it easy and simple and small. But if you're kind of like feeling a little bit more adventurous, you might want to start getting kind of a little bit more, you know, daring. Look, it is Sunday. It is a fun day. Put on one of your favorite pieces of music and improv along if you can. Or get a friend and just jam together a little bit. Maybe you've got a friend that plays some piano that can play you some simple chords. I've also got some of my kind of chord tracks on Patreon. Um, I'm going to be making more of these available soon as well. And of course, there's that improv video with some basic chords which you can play along to. So today I want to encourage you, let your hair down a little bit, have some fun and enjoy your flute playing. Until tomorrow, we get back into the working seat. Happy practicing everyone and see you then.